sorry with another YouTube video review, and today I'm going to be reviewing uh, uh, Wolverine Essentials Volume One. <laughs> so this is a uh, so this is from straight out of my mom's collection. Um, I had the first two volumes of this Essential series. They did uh, quite a few Essential series back in the in the nineties. Um, they did a whole bunch, like for a whole bunch of characters like Spider Man, Moon Knight, Fantastic Four. They did a whole bunch. But anyway, I've got this is the first volume of the Wolverine series, and this basically collects issues one to twenty three of the original Wolverine run, like the original Wolverine comics. Like, uh, okay, not his first appearance, but like he, he, the first time where Wolverine got his own solo series, for, for, for the first time he was outside the X-Men and actually was like, he's developed into his own character and not just a, another X-Men. And yeah, for the most part, guys, this, this book is pretty good. Um, I would open it up and show you guys the art, but every time I try to open it, my the plastic binders always break you can actually like see there that like i've had to like retape it like a few times so yeah sorry i can't take it out and show you guys but yeah this is this was a pretty good read pretty fun read um so yeah uh, okay first off the art is black and white in the inside so you know don't be fooled by the cover which is in color you know because it's black and white inside but but i mean other than that it was a, it, it didn't bother me that much um uh it did feel weird in the beginning i was reading a black and white marvel comic but i mean it got better and uh, yeah, but overall, this is a this is a pretty good this is a pretty good card book. Um, so basically, um, what this book is about, okay, so this is like twenty three issues, so it's a so a whole bunch of arc stories. But the main storyline that goes out throughout all the arcs is that it's Wolverine, and basically he um, uh, uh, uh everyone thinks Wolverine is dead, so he's in um, I don't know where he is. He's either in South America or he's somewhere in Asia. I don't know. They don't really explain it properly and uh, I was I, I didn't even know exactly where he was but um he's in this you know okay he's just he's not in America and he's not in Europe or he's not he's not in Canada or Australia. He's not in any of those countries. He's in either South America or or um you know or Asia one of those places. But anyway, so um he basically uh everyone thinks he's dead so basically he he, he goes into hiding and he takes up the alias known as Patch. But fun fact though, um if you guys didn't know uh, Patch is actually Wolverine's first name. His first name is actually Patch. Uh, in the movies and everything, everybody just calls him Logan, which everyone thinks is his first name, but it's actually not. His first name is actually Patch, and then Logan's a, Logan is actually his second name, and then Wolverine is obviously his superhero name. But yeah, so yeah, so so he's under the alias Patch, and uh, yeah, and he basically just in the book basically it's just him the random misadventures he goes on, he gets into while he's you know trying to hide and trying to you know you know pretend to be dead and you know just live a life of of freedom and everything and uh yeah um when i first started reading the story it, it, it was a little weird in the beginning because it was like you know old comic book writing you know it wasn't it, the writing style was very different to what i'm used to reading these days in modern you know modern times um uh and yeah but other, other than that it was um uh, but the art this writing style did get better like halfway through like by halfway through the book it gets better but yeah it was pretty interesting and then like uh it's also interesting because like whenever you like he gets into a fight or whatever Yes, so like um, uh, if they're with, if it's like if it's like in public and people are like watching, then he can't use his claws because then people will know he's Wolverine. But then obviously, if he's alone with a guy and he's fighting a guy and nobody's around, then he can then he pops out his claws and use them. But anyway, but yeah, this is a this is overall this is a pretty good volume. Um, I have, vo I have volume two as well, which I, I will start reading volume two, but I'm gonna take a break from Wolverine comics for a bit and then just you know get back to it later. And um, yeah, and uh, also yeah, we also get a few cameos, uh, a few cameos from other heroes. There was, um, I, I believe there was a reference to Iron Man, like a Iron Man Easter egg. Uh, Daredevil popped up, but he was like on one page. Kingpin as well. And then there was one issue where where Wolverine teams up with the with the Hulk, which is very very funny. But it's not like it's not like he didn't team up with the Green Hulk. He, te he teamed up with the Grey Hulk. So like this to fix it. So the thing is, it wasn't like you know they didn't just brawl and fight. They actually teamed up, and then it was a really funny issue. But for overall, guys, I'll give this a four to five stars. Uh, I'm not sure if you can even get these essentials anymore. I'm not sure if they reprint them, but if you do see this Wolver one of these Wolverine essentials, I, I highly recommend you buy it. I mean, if you can find one. And um, yeah, but yeah, and uh, four and five stars, great book. But yeah, but yeah, thanks for watching my video, guys. Please like, uh, like, subscribe, share, and comment. And yeah, I mean, if you've if you've read this Wolverine series, comment below. Let me know what you think. And yeah, bye, guys.